careful under the sea. Why did I do that? Anyway, guys, we are about to watch. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what would happen if you never showered. So, I'm curious, guys, what would happen if we never showered? Okay, so, um, title is self explanatory, guys. Not really much to say about this video. We're gonna find out what is gonna happen right now at the second. Let's jump into it. Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. So, you uh -oh. probably shower. At mm -hmm. least, I hope so. And you probably do it to keep clean. <laughs> right. right? It seems like right, a healthy right, thing to right. do, but have you ever wondered what would happen if you never showered? Well, let's start yeah, with what's, the basics. What's gonna happen? You would, what's gonna if, happen? I'm being honest, stink. I'm sorry to say it. But after a while, without Obviously. washing, you'll start to develop quite an odor. Soap and water in a shower or bath work to rid your body of bacteria and dead skin cells. So these okay. things start to pile up when you stop cleaning yourself. According to dermatology professor Dr. Cameron Roxar, among mm -hmm. the pile of dead cells that would accumulate on top of your skin are some proteins with a sugary coating, such as silicon. Lots of bacteria love to consume sugar. And when they digest sugary proteins like silomucin, they produce what uh, we call body odor. So less showering ooh. means more stench. But what kind? So if you don't shower, you gonna stink. Okay. So that's obviously that's obvious. That that we could we could have pointed that out. Okay. What would happen if you never shower? You gonna stink. Obviously. So let's continue. Let's just continue. <laughs> Even though that was an obvious one, we should have knew that. What effects would it have on your health? Well, the results don't look too good there either. For starters, dirty oh, skin means bad. itchy skin. Dandruff uh -oh. builds up, your skin uh -oh. is coated itchy in oil skin? and the dirt that sticks to it, and you start scratching. Scratching and irritating itch can feel great, but if you scratch too much, you can hurt yourself, yeah. even yeah. breaking through your skin. On a oh, note, never bathing can put you at a higher risk for infection. If you were to get a cut or scratch, perhaps because of all that excessive uh, itchiness, and your skin was covered in all sorts of extra bacteria, those yeah, bacteria like might find their way inside your wound uh, and eventually lead to a soft yeah, tissue infection. You would become yep. more prone to a whole host of other health issues, from acne and pus to fungus between your toes, or even yeah. into clean your toes. A painful combination clean your toes. of and inflammation. I know some people out there don't be cleaning their feet. You know, they wash every part of their legs, their uh, arms, their body, their face, their neck. They always forget about their feet. Make sure y'all clean your feet. Information <laughs> in your groin. Ugh. This all sounds kind of scary and uh -oh. gross, right? It might make you feel right. like you need to scrub yourself clean right this second. But what if right. I told I'm gonna you take a shower after this video three much. times? In fact. A lot of us are guilty of it. Remember when I mentioned that dirty skin can increase your risk of infection? Well, so mm -hmm. can dry skin. And you know what can Ooh. cause dry skin? That's Make right. Make sure you put on that lotion, yeah. man. Washing your skin might also Moisturize remove some of the bacteria that help your immune system. Some doctors even say that when you shower, you should only apply soap to the parts of your body that typically smell, such as your armpits, groin, and butt. Sure, frequent showers reduce your body odor, but in terms of mm -hmm. your health, one or two showers a week is likely to be enough. So, as yeah, is true yeah. of many things in life, showers are good in moderation. Showering twice a day or twice a year can both have serious consequences on your- Yeah, I heard about that too, like, um, if you shower too much, it's actually, uh, like, it's supposedly bad for your body or something because you be showering too much. And I heard that um, if you actually shower, like, less, but you, of course, you shower, it's actually better for your body. I don't know. I heard that somewhere. I could be wrong. I heard that. But I don't know. Still take a shower every day, probably, because unless you don't want to stink, okay? Um, I don't know, man. That's what I heard. Uh, don't quote me on that, okay? Your health and well-being. So keep clean, but not too clean. And make yeah. sure you head over to keeponthinking.co where you can pick up a Life Noggin poster. Ooh, or so all you people that be taking showers like eight times a day. I don't know. I know you want to be clean and everything, but come on now. Woo. All right, guys. So that what will happen, okay? Um, basically, you would stink um, if you shower too much. Um, it's bad for you to shower too little. Um, it's actually cool for you, actually. If you shower like twice a week, it says it's actually good for you. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna start showering every two days. Don't, whoa, don't, look. I see what y'all thinking right now. You're thinking, dang, I mean, I don't have to take a shower every day. 
Come on. He just was, he was just giving a suggestion, okay? So don't change your shower habits unless it's like you don't shower at all. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this video down below. Let me know how many times you shower. Let me know down below how many times you shower a week, how many times you shower a day, you shower every day, you only shower twice a week. Let me know how many times you guys shower every, out of the seven days. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ah. Yeah, call it that Casanova. She said I'm insane.